My name's Andrew Jack, and I work for a company called Dell Corning, mm -hmm. manufacture silicone release systems. Uh, I've been involved in this industry most of my working life, in fact, and um, my connection with FINAT is that I've been on the technical committee for a number of years. Uh, I was the former chairman of the technical committee for some 10 years and board member, and um, I continue on the technical committee representing my company. I think the, uh, the overall development of uh, technology that's become more meaningful in terms of cost effectiveness and that has allowed the pressure sensitive industry to grow significantly and for uh, pressure sensitive labelling to get into areas where maybe 10, even 15 years ago uh, we would have considered it to be too expensive. I totally agree the environment is driving a lot of developments right across the supply chain. So whether it's benign adhesives, uh, solvent free materials, down gauging of substrates, very important, uh, and really improve cost efficiency through each part of the supply chain. Because this will allow the industry to continue to grow and enjoy the growth rates that it's seen, that it's seen really over recent years. With the emerging countries, and the developing countries, they tend to not go through the normal development cycle that we might have gone through, let us say, in, in, in the more original sources of pressure sensitive materials. They go directly, very quickly, to the latest technology. So they leapfrog, they go directly. Absolutely, and I think that will continue. I think it's very hard to, uh, to say cradle to cradle because this is a term that, that if, you, if you define it exactly, it, it's very difficult to actually achieve in any industry. But certainly, uh, having a large amount of recyclability reducing waste, reducing the levels of energy. Each of these factors will make the overall concept of how we make pressure sensitive labels more interesting and more acceptable. Well, one of the key roles of FINAT, of course, is education. And uh, you asked what we would expect, should we spend money on, and certainly we should invest more in educating and communicating. Uh, we made an excellent start on this with the educational modules, which many people have already looked at. Um, and this tells the story of really why pressure sensitive labelling is, is relatively unique. It's the versatility, the adaptability to all sorts of application. And at the same time, there are various skills that need to be passed on and accredited, and there are basic foundations being laid towards that, which I feel FINAP will play a significant role in, in that development.